Okay, Resident M92 here. I'm just looking to talk about some wee load times. Uh, there's been a bit more conversation about it recently in the community, especially with newer runs and seeing it a lot with power bombs before bombs, with different runners getting wildly different amounts of load time that they have to account for when they're actually doing that trick. So what I'm kind of trying to spearhead here is working to get a set of runs and tests to properly sort out what the differences in load time are between different series of Wii's based on what the actual Wii revision is and disconnect condition other variables. I've set up basically four very controlled tests that we can run that are simple, easy to run. They don't require you to be going stupid fast. Uh, this will require it to be run on 0-00. Uh, we're doing disc channel only, no gecko loader, no Nintendo, none of that stuff. It has to be on a fresh save, either fresh off frigate or like the first landing just for consistency sake so we don't have any changes in what is loaded and what isn't. I'll go into more detail over each individual test about what is expected and if there are any more specifics about what needs to be done within each of those and each test will be uh, expected to be run 10 times so we can get an average from that and I'll go into more detail at the end of the video about how you're going to submit all of the video data and other things. Uh, we have a spreadsheet set up so yeah let's uh, get into that first video. So our first test is going to be the loading time in Ruined Fountain, specifically coming from Ruined Fountain Access through Ruined Fountain and into Arboretum Access. Now, this room is an auto load, so how you move from the Ruined Fountain Access Ruined Fountain door to the next door isn't that big of a deal so long as you make it there in about a couple seconds. Um, the basic principle here is that you're going to go from the one door, just hop right over the gap, stand in front of the next door, and just wait for the door to shoot the door, wait for it to open. Open. No more inputs once you get to the door. There's nothing else there. Hop back over. You're going to go all the way back through Ruin Fountain Access to the door to Main Plaza. Tap on that door basically and then roll right back. Go through. Repeat. Rinse. The usual. Ten times. Easy peasy. So our second test is going to be the load time in Gathering Hall, specifically going from Gathering Hall access through Gathering Hall and into Save Station 2. Uh, prior to doing the actual test, you're going to want to run into Gathering Hall, shoot the missile or shoot the missile door that it leads to the save station, and then head back. To reload, you're just going to roll all the way back through Gathering Hall access, tap on the Arboretum door and go back. Gathering Hall, much like our last test, is an auto load, so how you move from one door to the other doesn't matter too much so long as you get there in a fair amount of time. And same as the last one, just pop the door on your way up and just stand there. No other beam changes, any other inputs, just for consistency. Repeat, rinse, 10 times, and we'll be golden. Our third test is going to be the load time of Great Tree Hall from Transport Tunnel D. Um, prior to running any of the tests, you're going to have to run through this hallway and kill the saplings. Once those are done, you basically are just going to be going back and forth from one end of Transport Tunnel D to the other to reload Great Tree Hall. And similarly, it's an auto load the second you walk through the door, it's going to start loading Great Tree Hall. So just walk right over to the door, shoot it, and wait. It's all we need to do 10 times and we'll be golden. Our final test is going to be the big one, Artifact Temple Load. This one has a couple more requirements uh, for a lineup due to the fact that this is the only one that is not an auto load. This has an actual load trigger. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is get to the door there, shoot your missile, open it up. The long hallway, you wanna line up before you go into the first hallway there and line up with the door. And all you're gonna do is hold L and walk straight forward up to the door, shoot the door once you reach it, and then wait, no more inputs. Uh, the lineup outside of the door is to make sure that we can have a consistent time when we know you will hit the load trigger so we can calculate that time out. It is vitally important that you're holding L the whole way through the hallway so that you have a consistent speed. Other than that, same as the others, you're just going to keep going back and forth, do it 10 times, and that'll do it.
Now then, on the note of actually submitting all of the data that you have just recorded, ideally at 60 frames per second, uh, Justin DM, our resident boy, put together this lovely spreadsheet for us. You guys won't be using any of the stuff on the right there without the actual times. All we're asking from you is basically to fill out the top info here with the runner, Wii model number. If you've had any hardware mods, such as replacing a disk drive or any sort of Wii dual HDMI output or anything like that. Um, what you consider your disk uh, condition to be, as well as, if possible, a photo of the disk. Uh, ideally with good lighting from behind and at a nice low angle so you can see any kind of scratches or blemishes and whatnot on the disc, much like the two that are shown here. Uh, we're also asking for the serial number of the Wii. This will allow us to look up and see what exactly the hardware inside the Wii is and get the exact model number if you aren't fully aware. And then the last piece of info that we're asking for is a link to the mega upload uh, for your videos. For the videos, we're asking that you compress them into a zip folder, ideally upload them onto mega.nz, um, and then put that link there. Uh, once you have all this info popped onto this uh, spreadsheet, which I have linked down in the description, both an Excel spreadsheet version and a Google Docs version for you to fill out, uh, you can send that info over to myself, Metroid0925, in my Discord DMs. They're wide open, so go for it. Um, and then we're going to put all that info together, fill in all the, no the data on the side here, and put everything together, try to get some sort of conclusion about what the different Wii's load times are looking like. Any of you who also happen to have multiple Wii's, uh, it would be very, very much appreciated uh, if you could record and do these tests on all of the Wii's, regardless if they are the same model numbers, um, just to have more data. Honestly, the more data we can collect, the better. It'll allow us to have a broader range and hopefully actually come to some proper conclusions here. If, if we just have a couple people, it really won't be worth much. To anyone who is going to take the time and properly go through these tests, send in the info. Uh, we do strongly appreciate it, and hopefully it'll really help this community going forward with knowing exactly what we can do to get the best times out of this game. Um, and hopefully, uh, in the coming weeks, I'll be able to provide you guys with some insight on which Wii's are the best, worst, and how much of a difference it actually is based on what Wii you have for a total game run. And once again, all the info that you need is linked down below. Uh, there's a zip file to download at the link that'll have directions in text as well as a filled and unfilled version of this spreadsheet. Thanks y'all. Later.